This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hi right guys, well if you're watching this video you probably saw part 1 and part 2 where we modeled and UV'd our blunderbuss, our pirate pistol if you will. And in this part we're going to texture it in Substance Painter. Okay, so let's jump in. Okay guys, well we're in Substance Painter and we're going to load up our model. So we're going to go to uh, File, New, and we're going to leave this at PBR Metal Rough. Uh, we're going to select our low poly mesh, which is right here. And then let's see, we're going to leave this at direct X. We're going to leave the map size at uh, 1K. And we haven't baked any maps just yet, so there's nothing to add. Okay, so we're just going to hit OK. We're going to have our model load up. There you go. Looks OK. And what we're going to do is we are going to start off by baking our regular maps. Okay, so we're just going to go down here and we're going to select big textures. Now, if you have a high poly model as well, you can load that up by clicking on this folder and selecting your file. And that way your normal map will be baked based on your high and low poly. We just have a low poly here, so we're not going to do that. So we don't need any of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to select all of these maps and just simply hit bake all texture sets and then I'm going to decide later which ones I'm going to use. Now when you do that you will get some error messages down here but don't worry about that that's because we selected all instead of a specific selection okay. We'll just have that bake out. Just give that a second. Shouldn't take too long. Almost there. All right, and there we go. We're gonna click on our shelf here. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start to add some basic textures, okay? And as we are working directly on our low poly, nothing too fancy, uh, you know, we need to keep in mind that the environment will look uh, similar, okay? So don't go nuts on this, just to make sure it looks okay, all right? So up here we have our different uh, textures and each one that I turn off, you can see that I can now select what I wanna do. Well, I'm gonna start with the one at the bottom here, this one, which is our wood. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a regular material, so not a smart material. And I'm just gonna go with wood and just to make sure that I got this layer selected right there and bring that up and drag that in and just drop it in, okay? Now, as we do that, you can see that this is my handle just now. Now, if I'm not happy with the direction of the wood, what I can do is with this selected, go down here and tweak the UV rotation. And when I do that, you can see that the angle is changing. Now, because this is low poly, you will see that we have certain lines in our model and by aligning the texture that way, you don't see it that much, okay? So I'm gonna go with something like this. I can click on this and adjust the color if I like. I can make it darker or whatnot. And actually, that's not too bad. Let's do that, okay? You can go in and uh, change, for example, the fibers, and I'll just uh, zoom in so you can see that. So if I crank that way up, you will see that the fibers will look different and um, and so forth. Uh, and you can also tweak the roughness. Now when you do that, you kind of get rid of your gloss here and I don't really want that. So I'm gonna keep it something like this. So I'm ha happy with that for now, okay? So that's our wood. Let's move on to the next one. That's that little uh, segment up there, uh, which it needs to be metal. So we'll, uh, let's see, we'll go with, painted steel make sure you got that layer selected so we'll just turn that off and we're going to drag that in now i want that to be fairly black so i'm going to go in and change that and drag that down to a black color like so and then i can get in close and decide whether i want that to be rough or not and if you're not seeing it that well, you can go to viewer settings and you can increase the environment opacity if you like. Just so you have a little better view on that. Okay. So um, I don't really like that. So I'm going to turn that off. Uh, let's see the paint color black paint roughness. You can tweak that if you like. 
and I'll do something like that and let's add some rust okay and because it's such a tiny part adding some rust will give a nice effect to it so that's that okay then we're gonna go into this guy which is our main component if you will and here we have to be careful now we would like to have brass because it will reflect kind of you know what it should look like so what we'll do is we'll see if we got that available and we do and this is a very clean brass so when we bring this in it's gonna look a little bit too clean okay but we can tweak that later on so that's that's okay we can start by uh, making it a bit darker so we're just gonna bring that down but we're gonna make sure it's still reflective like so okay and we're gonna leave that as is and then we're gonna turn that one off and we're gonna go to this guy now this is the main steel part of our model if you will so for that let's see what we have we'll go with steel and let's see we got rusted steel uh, let's make sure we're on the right layer here yeah let's bring that in because this is a fairly large surface and fairly flat uh, let's see if we can kind of tweak that I'm bringing up the rust intensity as you can see and that looks quite cool maybe not that much okay uh, you can increase the dirt if you like um, you can increase the dirt intensity and I'm quite happy with that okay so let's see metal roughness we want it to still have some shine to it and then we'll just turn everything back on and you can see that the rust is a bit too much okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and bring that back a little bit. That's always the risk of Substance Painter. There's so many cool features they can use and you kind of tend to go overboard on that. Okay, so that looks uh, pretty cool, I think. Um, just wondering why. this guy is so dirty not quite sure so I'm just gonna replace that with brass to get it where we were I think I tweaked something there accidentally so there we go I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna make that a little bit darker like so and then I'm gonna turn everything back on all right so that's that. Now what we can do just to add a little bit more realism to it, especially on the brass, is to take a brush and kind of paint that a little bit. So let's start with our handle. Uh, let's see, there we go. We're gonna make sure that we have a, a new fill layer on this layer right here. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna open a new layer. Now we have a brush, but we're gonna make sure we have the right one. So we're gonna type in default default soft like so and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna tweak it a little bit first of all the color uh, I want to add kind of a blackish color to it uh, just to dirty it up a little bit like so and um, the material it shouldn't be too black okay so what we need to do is scroll up a little bit and here's the flow of our material by bringing that down You see that that's much better so we're gonna hit control Z to get rid of that we're gonna increase the size a bit like so okay and I'm just gonna start to add a little bit of black to the handle okay and obviously you don't want to do that everywhere because then it's kind of beside the point Okay, maybe a bit here. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna turn this off and we're gonna go to that guy. Actually, not that one. We're gonna go to that one. 
All right. So here, this is obviously very important. This uh, is too clean. So we're going to go in here and we're going to start to make sure that we got this selected. Obviously, we're going to start to add this coloration. We're going to tweak the size, bring that down a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to add black to the inside of the barrel and maybe even increase that flow a little bit and make it a bit darker. And especially around here, adding that will add some realism, especially because it's so low poly. Let's tweak that flow a little bit, punch it back. And we're just going to randomly add some dirt to it. Well, not dirt, but you know what I mean. Okay. And then let's turn everything back on and let's see what we got. Okay. So this is basically our low poly model. Okay. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again. Okay. Bye.